Welcome to Hope County, Montana. This is Far Cry 5. A lot of you know, my regular viewers will know that I'm playing this in the background when I'm not working on Diablo 3 content and movie reviews. Now, I have to mention something very important. Sometimes I mention in these types of videos how amazing the visuals and the graphics are. Now, I have to let you know that I'm playing on a 4K TV with HDR color settings on a PlayStation 4 Pro, but I can only record in crappy 1080p settings. And in the future, I'll definitely be able to record in 4K, but right now I can't, and I'm not really set up for console gaming recording, so I'm doing the best that I can, but I just wanted you to know that what I see isn't what you're going to see in this gameplay recording, that's all. Because sometimes, in the past, I think I did a video on Destiny 2 or something like that, and I did a bit of gameplay, and I said, whoa, these visuals are amazing. But the thing is, someone commented and said, this guy's on drugs, he's an absolute idiot, what does he know, what he's, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about, the graphics are crappy. It's because what you're seeing in the recording isn't exactly what I'm seeing. So I just wanted to put that out there real quickly, and the graphics still look okay, but when you go from 4K HDR and then look at the recording in 1080p, the, the difference is just amazing. It's definitely worth getting a 4K TV if you can afford it with HDR and getting a upgrading to the PlayStation 4 Pro. The visuals are just incredible, but if you can't afford it, it's fine. At least, you know, get a PlayStation 4, a regular PlayStation 4 console there. You can relatively cheap now because the Pro is out and just play on any TV that you can and that's fine as long as you get to game, really. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of Far Cry 5 gameplay. I also wanna do a trailer reaction for the new Venom trailer, which came out several days ago. I just haven't had time. My schedule's been flat out, but the weekend is here now, so I can finally do some recording. Now, let's have a look at... Let's go rescue Cheeseburger. I bet you're all wondering who Cheeseburger is. Let me introduce y'all to Cheeseburger. Now, if you've been playing the game, you'll know who Cheeseburger is. If you haven't, well, you're gonna meet him shortly. And I just love running through the forest in this game. It's just beautiful. Like I said, in 4K, 4K graphics, absolutely amazing. And I've got a 75 inch brand new Sony TV, so I've been enjoying that big time playing console games. Now, I really want to get through this game so I can start God of War. I've got God of War. I'm itching to play it. But I've got to go back and finish Assassin's Creed Origins. And I don't want to play three games at once plus Diablo 3. It'll just blow my brain. Watch this. We're going to do a, a handgun execution here. Boom! <laughs> Classy, I know, right? Now, Boomer here, our dog is very handy so we can have him as our companion and what he does is when we come into areas where enemies are around he actually marks them for us automatically so i used my binoculars there to mark enemies but if boomer's with you when you're when enemies are in a certain proximity he will mark them automatically for us definitely handy saves us big time and right now we're looking for a brand new companion that can join us on our journey through Hannah Montana. I mean, uh, Hope County, Montana. There he is there. So this is Cheeseburger, everybody. Meet Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger is a, a bear. I think, is that a grizzly bear or a brown bear? I don't know. Oh, here, have, have a salmon, big boy. Calm down now. He's so cute. There we go, there we go. There, yeah, there we go. Calm down, big fella. There we go, there we are. Now he's our friend. And we're going to use him to um, take out some enemies. Because bears are damn tough in this game. I've recently started using this LMG gun, which is amazing. It definitely kills bears pretty quickly and easily, efficiently. There goes Cheeseburger. Alright, we're getting attacked here. Eat some dynamite. <laughs> oh! Oh! Look out! Look out, Cheeseburger! Let Papa shoot him. You're not taking Cheeseburger from me. Look at Cheeseburger go! The only thing I hate about playing shooters on console is the aiming. I hate playing first-person shooters on console. Eat dynamite! <laughs> 
But the game is awesome. It's so much fun. It's huge. It is absolutely huge. And for me, it's different enough from 3 and 4, Far Cry 3 and 4, where I'm in enjoying it like a lot more. Like it's, it's a fresh sort of new take on Far Cry. It has a lot of similarities still. But they've made enough changes, particularly with the crafting and stuff like that. It's all different now. I'm definitely loving the game. I would like some more diversity with the weapons. I think that redneck. Like something we haven't, like a lot of weapons we haven't seen before. A lot of, a lot of these we have seen. Oh, get freaking! I hate console shooting games. Is that it? Is that all you got? Filthy redneck trailer trash. Oh no, they got Boomer. They killed my dog. They killed my dog. And now we can use cheeseburger anytime we want. Let's check out something else and then we'll call it there because I'm a busy, busy man. Alright, one of my favorite parts of the game is liberating the enemy's camps. And I like to do this unidentified, undetected. Nobody ever sees me. Watch this. Even a gut shot with the uh, the bow and arrow, and you dead. So the the bow is always one of my favourite weapons. Always use it in the Far Cry games. But in this game, you've got all these unique challenges where you have to kill X amount of enemies or from a certain distance with certain weapons and then you unlock unlock your perk points that way so there's no skill trees in this you get like perks but you have to earn your perks as you can see boomers just tagged a lot of the enemies there there's a lot of enemies here we're gonna have to lure them out and stealthily kill them one by one sometimes two or three at a time we can get we can do like chain chain takedowns chain kills and like you saw in the cheeseburger gameplay, the uh, the handgun headshot. So if you take down an enemy who has a holster with a weapon equipped, you can grab his weapon and do a headshot on the next weapon, on the next on the next enemy. Oh, this crazy redneck! Oh, someone's started seeing us there. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Bonk. Right in the back of the bald head. Ain't no moonshine gonna cure that. Ain't no moonshine gonna help you now. And look, it's the, ex it's the exact same guy. <laughs> the exact same looking dude. Must be his brother, Cletus. See you later, Cletus. You get a pipe to the back of the head, instant kill. I'm gonna hide his body. Because I'm an efficient killing machine, you see? Sometimes the music in the background drives me crazy though, it's so repetitive and you just spend a bit of time in the same area. You just want to find where it's coming from and flush it down the toilet. Now I like staying in stealth when I'm liberating camps here. You get a bonus for being undetected and it's just fun that way. Going in guns blazing is boring. You can do that like everywhere else in the game. So I like to mix it up. A lot of times I do go in guns blazing, like cheese, the cheeseburger mission with guns blazing. And these guys here got to be careful, they're armoured up. Boom! So that is Far Cry 5, thank you all for tuning in. If you want to see more Far Cry 5 gameplay, let me know. I'm playing this in the background, so this isn't my primary focus right now. I'm trying to smash through content so I can start God of War. I'm dying to play God of War. It's got uh, the most incredible reviews ever. If you want to see some God of War gameplay or videos on God of War, maybe I'll give you my thoughts or a review, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I'll be working on my Demon Hunter Marauder slash Natalia Fire build. So make sure you come back for that one. But up next, we're going to be watching the Venom trailer. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now so you don't miss out on this awesome content and you get notifications when I do all this stuff. I love you all and I can't wait till you come back again and visit your creepy goddamn uncle, Bannock13.